हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस द टॉपिक चूजिंग ओसी कर फॉर अप्रोप्रिएट सैम्पलिंग प्लान सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द ओसी कर फॉर अ सिंगल सैम्पलिंग प्लान सो वी हैड सीन दैट द ओसी कर इज नथिंग बट अ ग्राफ बिटवीन द परसेंट डिफेक्टिव पी डैश एंड probability of acceptance pa on the y axis and this p dash on the x axis so the shape of the graph was something like this so this is for a single sampling plan now we will learn about the oc curve for double sampling plan so here there are two curves involved so we can see here this is this graph has two curves one is curve for probability of acceptance based on the first sample that is n1 and c1 so this is the first curve for the first sample and this second curve is probability of acceptance based on combined samples that is sample number 1 plus sample number 2 we will get this curve which is shown here so we can see this is the probability of acceptance that is pa for the first sample and here this is the probability of acceptance of the second sample and both together that is adding pa1 and pa2 we will get pa combined that is probability of acceptance of both the samples together so as usual the graph is drawn between the probability of acceptance and the percent defective so this involves two curves one curve for probability of acceptance based on first sample the second curve for probability of acceptance of the combined samples it is pa of combined is equals to probability of acceptance of first sample plus probability of acceptance of the second sample so for the construction of this oc curve for double sampling we have to follow certain steps construction of oc curve for double sampling so firstly we have to find the equations first step is find the equations for the double sampling plan we have to know all the values so let us know the values first that is n that is the lot size n1 is the sample size for first sample c1 is the acceptance number for first sample then we have n2 that is the sample size of second sample c2 is the acceptance number for the second sample equations so the first one 
so if there are c1 or less defectives in the first sample the lot is accepted so if there are c1 or less defectives in the first sample the lot is accepted so pa for first is equals to pa or c1 or less this is for the first sample so for example let us consider the value of c1 is equal to 8 so if the number of defectives is less than or equal to 8 then we will accept the lot so here if the number of defectives is equals to 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 or 1 we will even 0 also we will accept the lot so that is the meaning here okay the second one says that to obtain the equation for the second sample the possible number of ways that the lot can be accepted is determined so the lot is accepted if the combined number of defectives in the sample 1 and sample 2 put together is less than or equal to c2 so to obtain the equation for second sample so possible ways the lot is accepted if the combined number of in first sample and second sample put together is less than or equal to C2. Now to understand this let us consider the value of C1 as 2 and let c2 as something 12 so now here if the number of defectives in the sample 1 okay for example number of defectives in first sample are some so c1 is 2 and c2 is 12 so in the first sample we saw that it is 2 that is equal to c1 so we have accepted the lot here then number of defectives in second sample are 8 so 2 plus 8 will give us 10 so this is 10 which is less than c2 value so it is less than c2 whose value is 12 so this lot will be accepted so if for example the value of first sample is 2 and the second sample here is 12 then or if it is 10 then when we add these we will get 12 that is equal to c2 even then this lot will be accepted in the third case let us consider this is 2 only and this is 12 then we will get 14 as the number of defectives when we combine these two samples and this 14 is greater than 
12 and that is why the lot will be rejected so now rejection of the lot so when we will reject the lots so the lot is rejected if the number of defectives in the first sample is greater than c2 so the lot is rejected if the number of defectives in the first sample is greater than c2 so here 12 is the c2 value so if uh, for example in this example we have seen the number of defectives are 2 if the number of defectives in the first sample itself are some 13 and c2 value is 12 then we will reject this lot completely then the second condition for rejecting the lot is by the considering the second sample the lot is rejected based on the second sample that is if the combined number of defectives found in the first and the second sample put together is greater than c2 so as we have already discussed if the number of defectives in sample 1 and 2 are greater than c2 then we will then the lot is rejected which i have explained in this example so i hope you have understood the topic that is the oc curve for double sampling plan thank you